right, cunt. Oh, there's that chick. She's fucking following us now. That's that psycho chick. The informant. There she is, following us. When are you gonna stop fighting us? Huh? Yeah. When are you oh, there they go. There it is. You're going to court. You're going to jail. You're going to court. You're going to You're jail. You're going to court. You're going to jail, Lita. You're busted. You're, gonna You're busted. There you go, road rage. Yep, just found out about the informants there on Butterfield. They're not liking it. Reported them the children's aid and using kids in crime. And now they're following us around. Wow. That's a crazy woman. Woo! Good thing we didn't use foul language, but this is going up on YouTube to show the people of Norland Kobaconk and the people of Durham Region that Police Chief Paul Martin and his wife Darby Martin are working with that crazy woman to try to kill me, and now they're using their kids in crime and are endangering my niece's life. Unbelievable. So, anyways, I'm just so blown away about that road rage. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you're guilty, you're guilty. You're guilty. And they got something to hide. And it's the camera. And it's the internet. It's the camera. It's, it's fighting for our democracy in this country and saying no to the police state. And this is all because I'm an activist against Bill C-51, S-7, and the government hates me for it. And they're trying to pop me off. And they're using my uh, niece as leverage. And there's that lady chasing us around. That's right. Wow. And she was up in Norland too. She was only there for a year. Bought the cottage next to us. Yeah. Played spy. Was there when I got hit with the SWAT team. And now buys the house down here and apparently they sold it in August of 2017 well she's still there it's now February 22nd 2018 so obviously someone's screwing around with the ownerships of the properties wow <laughs> I never thought she'd chase us around like that well there you go when you're guilty you do stupid things and that's a crime there, there's a yeah. prime example of it so I said to her you're going to court you're going to court it's coming that's, yeah. so you're not getting away with it yeah, and we've now filed it in the after David with uh, my niece's case of all the complaints I made to Children's Aid about these people. And Children's Aid here in Durham Region won't even start a uh, an investigation. And then we ran into a, a caseworker by the name of Vince. Vince at Children's Aid. He yeah. won't start an investigation either. You Actually, know why? We caught him in lying, and he's a CAS worker. He's yeah. Got working for you. That's right. So, see, uh, Children's Aid is basically a division of the police force, and that goes to show how they work in conspiracy to set people up and use kids and crime so it's now part of case law it's in the case now and I'm putting this up on video and you can see that lady well, just start chasing us around like well, we don't be, even know her it really will be, it will be in case law it's not there yet but yeah. it will be in case law yeah and I'm accusing that woman of conspiracy to kill me on July 28 2016 on uh, number seven trails End road Norland when she was there with her husband Giovanni at five and a half trails end and uh, they're also involved in money laundering too they got 150 grand profit by selling to the other informers so that's how they get paid is basically have another uh, person line it up yeah okay anyways well you got what I got there today that was pretty exciting yeah, we didn't expect that but anyway, <laughs> yeah. anyway there you go. so once again everybody defend mother and country and uh, we're constitutionalists start standing up for the Charter and rights and freedoms and the Queen's law once again God save the Queen and so long and see you on my next video bye bye